Jesus is the answer for the world today. Hello, family. Pastor Laulu from Christian Pentecostal Church. And um, let's jump off our, our message on Sunday and sharing on Sunday. And let's talk about spiritual maturity. Um, you know, trying to encapsulate the whole uh, epistle to the Philippians was it's, it's hard to do in a short amount of time. So let's break a few things down in terms of spiritual maturity here on our devotionals, okay? And we're going to start from step, step step zero, or spiritual maturity step zero. And we're going to use the same verse of scripture, which is Philippians 2, verse 12 to 13. And it says, So then, my dear ones, I'm reading from the Amplified. So then, my dear ones, just as you have always obeyed my instructions with enthusiasm, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence. Continue to work out your salvation that is cultivated, bring it to full effect, actively pursue spiritual maturity with awe inspired fear and trembling, using serious caution and critical self evaluation to avoid anything that might offend God or discredit the name of Christ. We'll stop there for a second. That's verse 12. And let's talk about this for a second. Not the entire verse of scripture, but the fact that the apostle in scripture says that we should. Like so much years of, of as much as you obeyed in my presence, but now much more in my absence. Maturity it, in itself, if we begin, is a matter of I am able, willing, and will do things despite who is present. Despite what whoever, if the instructions are given, no matter who is present at the given time, I will obey and follow those instructions because I recognize and I am mature enough to do so. And it says, scripture says that you should work it out to bring it to full effect. Work out that salvation to bring it to full effect, to make it mature with fear, all inspired fear and trembling or caution. You know, I'm thinking about it. It's like when you're carrying a cup of water that's about to spill over, you hold it tightly. And every now and then your your hand almost starts to shake a little as though like you, the water might spill. But in you holding it tightly and carefully enough to try to get it not to spill. That's what comes to mind when I think of this as this trembling. Where it says to use in serious caution and critical self-evaluation to avoid anything that might offend God or discredit the name of Christ. Now verse 13. For it is not your strength, but it is God who is effectively at work in you, both to will and to work that is strengthening energizing and creating in you the longing and the ability to fulfill your purpose for his good pleasure. Step zero. Step zero is verse 13. And that is strictly this and simply this. It begins with God. It begins with the fact that God is actively inspiring, encouraging, calling, drawing, and providing all the strength and resources necessary for you to will and do will to desire to do the will is the desire to do and to do is to bring to fruition of his or God's good pleasure or to fulfill God's good purpose. So step zero is that God is already provided. God is already drawing. God is already attempting to grow you. And I, God is doing what he has said he will do already. He is performing the work to bring it to fruition. And that is the most amazing portion of this all. That we are without excuse. That God is already at that step zero. And he's already at the end too. At the end of it all, spiritual maturity. But he has begun because he began the work and we trust that he'll finish it. So which means at any more point in time, we'll feel like, oh, we can't do it. Good. Because it's God that's doing the work. So step zero, God is bringing the desire, increasing the desire and bringing the strength and the grace required for us to become mature spiritually. God bless you and we'll continue this. Have a blessed day.